Welcome, welcome to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show, trying to make sense of this crazy Arizona market. Today, I'm going to share some national statistics with you on who's buying, who are buying the homes. I get asked that question a lot. Well, who's really buying the homes in Arizona? And we, we're following the same trends uh, nationally. And then after that, more importantly, how do buyers and sellers feel about the current state of the market? And I've got some numbers to share with you on now. They feeling better about it, worse. So where are we at? And here's who's buying. This is interesting. This is by age, Gen Zers, 3% are buyers. Um, and you get up here. And so the largest number of sellers, obviously, are younger boomers, 26% of the total market. Uh, Gen Xers, 23% are sellers. Older boomers, 19%. So in other words, of the total number of homes that were sold, 19% of them were older boomers. And then there's a the silent generation. Now, these little areas down here, younger boomers and older boomers, those are the categories where people are saying that there's this silver tsunami coming, that that number that's 26% is going to explode. And I'm just not buying into that. I don't think that's going to be as uh, big of a deal as people think it is. And then interestingly enough, Look how many uh, Gen Xers and Millennials are buying. They're leading the buying trend, obviously. Older Generation Y Millennials, 21% of the market. Gen Xers, 24% of the market. So they're they're quite active. Um, and now it's a percentage. It's obviously a, a percentage of a much smaller number. When I look at, uh, I pulled up some interesting stuff here. Let's see if I can find it here for you. Um, this is a bit of an eye chart, so I'll try just to point out where the market is today. And you can see here that if you go back just to 2021, and this is, again, existing home sales annual rate of 6078000 and then compare it to, to tw last year, 2023, 2599000 So you can see how much slower the market got. So when you're looking at those percentages of buyers and sellers, it's a percentage of this number here. The peak in all of these years was in 2021, back when money was cheap and flooding the market. So that is what's happening now. There's existing home median sales prices this across the country. 2021, the home prices were 327. Now they're 357. Um, so it's a very interesting chart that I found, and uh, but it tells you the story about just how slow things are. And that's what I wanted to point out. When I look at my seven day moving average here in the Arizona market, um, I'm seeing the same thing. Um, I, I track the gap between the number of new listings coming on and the number of new contracts. And the gap between the two tells me where the direction is of the market. Right now, it's still about 71%, 74% of new listings are going under contract. And that's that's relatively healthy as a percentage. When it gets down to about 60, 65, then you see pricing pressure on the downside. Now, who says it's a good time or a bad time to sell? And what's the net between those two numbers? Well, a good time is this blue dot number here. This is sellers, people that have responded to the survey. Survey 66% say it's a good time to sell. It's up from a low of uh, about in the 50s here. So 66%. So there's more and more people believing it's a good time to sell. And I would I would agree with that. Bad time to sell has dropped to 34%. But now you see what's called a net number here. It's gone from a low of 19 to 32%. So those are people that are saying, I think it's a good time to sell. Well, that's great. Is it a good time to buy? Let's take a look at that number. And here it is. So 79% say, I'm going to pull that back a little bit, say it's a uh, bad time to buy. <whistles> that shouldn't shock you. 21% say it's a good time to buy. Now, both of those numbers, the good time to buy numbers, starting to go up slightly. Not enough to light the market on fire. So you got uh, a net of 58% saying it's a uh, net good time to buy. That's not a healthy number when it comes to looking at uh, um, our, our real estate market and the health of the real estate market. So when we look in the Phoenix market here right now, um, it's it's stagnant. It's staying there. I'm seeing 
uh, new listings coming on board a little bit hotter. But when I say hot, it's not even more than 100 homes a week. So we're not getting flooded with uh, new listings. What I am seeing and I am feeling and I'm seeing it nationally is because of the news. And you've heard me say this before. Because of the news of these commission lawsuits brought to the National Association of Realtors, and now there was a settlement there for $418 million. Now the Department of Justice is getting involved. And the things that they're proposing just makes us shake our heads. I don't get it. I don't know what their end game is, but it's causing anxiety. And when you have anxiety, everybody sits out the market. And it's starting to show its ugly head. And so things people are waiting. They're saying things like, well, when the law changes in July, there's no law. Um, so we don't know what's going to happen in July. We're just going to have a lot of uncertainty as we move forward with this. Um, the DOJ is going to bring a case against us. Obviously, the National Association of Realtors will fight it vigorously, but their track record is they're not very good at winning those kinds of things. So as we move forward, looking to see what the market's going to be this summer, I have no idea, except I call it the summer of confusion. And, uh, and then, of course, there's interest rates. What's the latest data on inflation? When is the central bank going to cut rates? Uh, for this year, I don't see a lot of movement there. Uh, you might get a 0.25 decrease, but, you know, they're not only going to increase the overnight rate if there's if we need more liquidity in the market, we need more funds. And I just don't see that happening. So I don't think anything's going to swing higher or lower in the next few months in the Phoenix market. Sellers are not having a bad time selling homes here in Phoenix. They're really not. Yeah, you're on the market a few more days uh, than you were, you know, last year or the year before, but it's not a bad time. And as you can see, the respondents of those surveys nationally are saying, yeah, it's probably a good time to sell. And we're seeing that here in Phoenix. So I hope that helps answer some questions. If you have any questions, shoot me an email at rick at rickhelps.com. Take care.